Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about Star Citizen's 3.2 Alpha update that is currently in the test build but will most likely be out or at least very soon uh, be out by the time this video goes live. So if everyone who's pledged um, a Star Citizen or has you know bought it at any time in the past, I'm sure I'm not the only one to say that I never really used to play it. I couldn't because of the performance or the lack of features or whatever. So I've pledged since 2013 and since then I've really only booted up the game every so often when there's a new update just to see what they've added uh, or if I hadn't just done it in a while just to you know get back into it and see what's in there. The biggest issue for me since 3.0 to overall playability was definitely performance. Uh, it's still not great but it feels a lot smoother than 3 and 3.1 even without the big performance fixes that were initially planned for this release. I've still got high hopes for seeing them in 3.3, fingers crossed. The stuttering's still an issue that needs to be fixed, though it's not as bad as before. Some locations are a lot worse than others, like Levski, the other landing zone. But as the title of the video asks, is it a real game now? And the reason I ask that is because this is the first update where I can actually see myself playing the game regularly for fun, like an actual product, not just checking in for updates or because I hadn't done it in months. And here's why. To start with, the amount of ships is starting to feel good. There's a nice variety of everything from a couple of tiny space spikes to big cargo and transport ships, though we don't have any capitals yet, but I'm sure we'll see them sometime soon. The new mechanical additions like quantum drive spooling and sensor pinging make a lot of sense and the ships feel a lot more alive with a lot more moving parts because of it. Things like this make the whole game feel more complex as well. You can multi-crew using a party system that works quite well and other crew members can have real jobs like power management or turret control, which makes multi-crew gameplay feel like you're actually working together. Mining's a good addition and the MISC Prospector has been added to make the most of the new mechanic. Even though it's a cool ship, I'm pretty keen to see some huge mining vessels to go along with it, which we'll see later on. It's good to see mechanics like this being implemented because every time a new mechanic or career path is added, it just makes the game feel a lot deeper. There's more options, which means more things to do, and more things to do means a game you can actually play for a decent amount of time instead of just repeating the same tasks over and over again like people used to. The amount of locations in the game is starting to get there as well, but right now it's probably the biggest thing the game needs along with new mechanics to make it feel like a complete package. There needs to be more proper landing zones to go along with the planets, but I'd probably rather not see any more until the performance issues are sorted. Levski's cool, but the average FPS for me is probably 15 to 10 on a good day, and that makes it difficult to enjoy and just play without worrying about it. I'm looking forward to the addition of small space station rest stops which are coming in 3.3, so that's the next quarterly update. Just be nice to have smaller things other than huge planets or massive um, space borne space stations you know, to give a bit more variety to the places you can land while you're in space. The beacons and player requested missions are cool as well even though it's just the start of it, being able to pick up a player and taxi them somewhere for money definitely makes the game feel more dynamic. Missions in the game are getting better as well. There's only a small variety right now just because it's limited by mechanics that are available, but what we have so far is a great start. There are some missions that have you go and get cargo from a crashed ship, either on a planet or a derelict ship that's been destroyed in space, and that's always really cool. There's really good atmosphere, and it's always nice to look at. Overall, I'm actually really happy with the time I've spent in 3.2 so far. It's the first update that I've thought that Star Citizen is beginning to feel like a real game with things to do. Looking onto the year's schedule with 3.3 next quarter and 3.4 a quarter after that, and then we'll also get 3.5 in quarter one of 2019, it's actually looking like a pretty good year for Star Citizen. Providing they can keep to most of their feature targets, we'll be seeing things like the Art Corp landing zone, plus the planet and moons that come along with that. Space Station rest stops, more ships, so we've just got brand new ships along with reworks and new variations on old ships. There's playable female characters, salvage mechanics, and a lot more of which you can check out on their website. I am expecting some features will be delayed as they have been before, but I'm optimistic as the developers get more comfortable with their quarterly release cycle. So yeah, if you have pledged to the game already, then you might as well jump into 3.2 and give it a try. It's feeling a lot better, my computer isn't even that powerful and it's running a lot smoother. Uh, I'm getting 30 plus FPS in most places, which is really nice to see. So if you've got a decent computer, you might even be able to get higher than that. So give it a try. If you haven't pledged already, then maybe you want to consider. You can have a look at their website to get all the details on that. But that's my recommendation. I think 3.2 is really solid and I'll be playing that probably for the next wee while until we see 3.3. Uh, so thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you out there.